Aw, oh, man. One of us is gonna have to change. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Remember this guy, Scott Kelly? Dude that spent a really long time in space, like 340 consecutive days long. Well, he and his twin brother are back in the news because they've become, well, less twinny? Twinish? I don't know, I'm making up words now. If none of this is ringing a bell, then please click the annotation to check out this super throwback twist -em episode. Please disregard the lack of green screen and sound setup and basically any kind of video editing skills. It was a long time ago. I was just starting out and I was trying. Long of the short of it is, NASA is using twin brothers Mark and Scott Kelly to determine the effects that long-term space habitation has on the human body. This information will prove crucial when figuring out how the human body will fare in deep space missions such as the ones that are planned for Mars in the 2030s. In this instance, Mark, a former astronaut, served as the control of the experiment, remaining here on Earth while Scott spent almost a year on the International Space Station. After Scott returned to Earth, there were some immediately obvious differences, such as the fact that he had grown two inches while in space. However, the folks over at NASA knew that there would be a plethora of less obvious differences, so they got straight to work taking a much closer look at Scott and found some surprising things. One thing scientists took a closer look at was Scott's telomeres, the protective caps on the end of his DNA strands. What they found was that during Scott's time in space, his telomeres had actually grown longer than Mark's, which was the opposite of what the scientists had expected. At this point, Scott's telomeres have returned to their original lengths, and scientists are now studying 10 other astronauts in order to see if they can figure out why this happened. Another thing scientists noticed was that Scott experienced less DNA methylation while in space. DNA methylation occurs when methyl group molecules that serve as chemical markers are added to DNA molecules. In comparison to Scott, Mark actually experienced an increase in DNA methylation. Both twins had their DNA methylation return to pre-flight levels once Scott returned to Earth. Scientists also noted a difference in the twins' microbiomes in their guts. After studying the twins' stool samples, the scientists found that there was a balance shift between two major groups of bacteria found in Scott's GI tract that help with digestion. In contrast, the bacteria balance in Mark's digestive system appeared to only experience minor fluctuations. In addition, the number of bacteria species found in Scott's GI tract didn't change, which was unexpected. The scientists actually figured that the number of bacteria found in Scott's GI tract would decrease since bacteria is typically introduced through food and NASA is super careful about their food prep. An outbreak of food poisoning on board the ISS with zero gravity is not a desirable outcome. As with several other of these changes, Scott's bacterial balance shifted back to normal once he returned to Earth. The scientists also noted that the gene expression of the twins had diverged, which can happen here on Earth due to environmental changes such as diet or sleeping habits. The changes in Scott seem to be larger than normal, but moving to space for a year is a pretty significant environmental change. Now scientists are still reviewing the data, and we likely won't have final peer-reviewed research for another year or two. There is a lot of data to get through, in fact there are 10 different research teams working on this. In addition, the Kellys are reviewing all of the data to make sure that nothing too personal gets released. After all, this is their personal medical history. And that brings us to our question of the day, which I couldn't think of anything super twin and space related and tie it all in together to make a good question. So my question to you is, what would you like to see more of on the stimulus? Do I need to cover more biology, chemistry, space stuff? Do you like it just the way it is? Let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you want to check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below along with links to all of my social media, so feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Stimulus for all sorts of super awesome STEM related content. If you see any really cool STEM related news stories throughout the week and you think that they might make a really cool Twistum video, feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at the stimulus using the hashtag Twistum. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.